Define what you want to machine quickly and easily to create a steady stream of optimized programs 100% ready for the shop floor. After all, less clicks equals more chips. Okay, so we're ready to start making some features on this part. So in Esprit, we use features to define what we want to machine. So Esprit doesn't know if we want to just drill the holes or turn the whole OD or just up to this groove. So we're going to use a feature to tell Esprit what we want to machine. So the easiest way to get kind of your general features in Esprit for turning is to utilize the turning features command. So the first thing we want to do is come up to the ribbon and as we go across we're going to come over to feature and this icon here for turning. And you'll see that when you hover your mouse over a particular icon in Esprit, you'll see a nice tooltip. This includes a graphic usually with a nice explanation as to what this function is going to do. And at the upper right, you can see press F1 for more help. So you can go into more detailed explanation of all of these commands using the help function. So remember, F1, just like most Windows-based software, is going to be your full help menu. So we're going to go ahead and click Turning. And it says at the bottom left, down here, select Solid Face, Chain Feature, Arc, or Segment. So we're going to pick the full solid. And by picking the Turning Axis, which is here, it's going to preview where the part is going to spin about. So here we can see the turning axis is our z-axis and what type of work do we want to define? So here the icons show we can create OD features, we can create ID features, or we can create face features or all three or any combination. So if I click on one of these icons you can see that that icon will turn off. If it's off, it means it won't make those features. If it's on, like they all are now, it will make those features. So here we can see the cutting side. So if you have a main and a subspindle machine, you can select whether or not you want features on both sides of the part or on only one side. Do you want the profiles to ignore sub features or do you want to only do the sub features? So here we're going to have both selected. Do we want to skip groove profiles? Include groove blends, yes or no? So there's some functionality here to tailor how the features will be cr uh, created for you. So here I'm just going to say leave it as the default and I'm going to say OK. And if we come to our features tab, we'll see now that we have some features created on the screen. So I'm going to hit F4, the F4 key on our keyboard. I'm going to click in the graphics area and click or touch on the F4 key. And that is our lathe key. So this is our lathe view. And uh, we're going to use F4 quite a bit. So a couple things that I want to point out here. We'll see, we'll see this hex here. Uh, toward the back of the part. And we can see the turning feature does not match the top of this hex face. And this is because our function for creating lathe profiles, these are turned profiles, so what we're doing is spinning the part. So Esprit is going to spin the part about the z-axis and get the maximum x value for this area so that if you're doing a turning operation it's in the correct location. So Looking at these features, we have an OD feature, and I'm going to go to a clear view. So you can control how shaded you want. Uh, you know, you can do shaded with edges or just shaded or clear view. And when I do a clear view, I can see the features a little bit more clearly. So here on the OD, we see the nomenclature is front for all features that are on the front side, and then back for the features that would be on the back side of the part. That would be done in the subspindle, uh, or if you were to flip manually your stock in the machine and do it that way. So we have an OD 
and then a contour, and then we have a front and then an ID and a contour. So we can see from the nomenclature, once you get used to the nomenclature in Esprit, you'll be able to just look at this list very quickly and see which feature you want to select. So definitely pay attention to the nomenclature. Um, you know, depending on how complex your part is, you might get, you know, 20 different features. So by quickly visualizing the list here, uh, it's going to go ahead and give you that proper nomenclature. Additionally, the numbering, you could see here that the OD groove is listed toward the end of the list, and that's because it's a sub-feature. So Esprit is trying to also put some sort of order on this that's somewhat approximate of how it would be uh, machined on the machine. So uh, we've got our OD and our ID and our face contour at the front, and then our back main uh, features, and then we start doing the sub-features. So that is how to create features inside of Esprit.